Yes! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hey, how are you? It's so important na, to know what is the time. It's time for my class, it's time for my lunch, it's time for me to go to school, it's time to go to sleep. Time is everywhere and we are just so aware of it, right? And that's why this is what today's session is on. Motion and time, let's talk about measurement of time. So, welcome everyone and yes, very good. I can see all the familiar faces, few new names also. Good evening, good evening, I'm good, I'm good, how are you? Alright, hey Dhru, hey Prisha, yes. So, people, it's all about history of measurement of time. Today, it's very easy for us, no? I mean, uh, when we were small, our, our parents used to teach us, Dekho, if, if the small small uh, hand is on this and that and the larger hand is on that, it is 4, it is 3, it is 2, 4, 15, Savachar, Sade Panch, Pone Che, right? And I used to get so confused in this, at least because in, in our homes it was more like not 345, 355. It was more like casually in Hindi we used to call, right? Pone Char, Pone Panch, Sade Panch, Dhai, Dead, Sade Teen, right? So all these things are there. And that's why. That's how we learn measuring time. I'm good guys, how are you? And let me know if I'm clearly audible and visible to you all. Come on. This is one confirmation I want from all of you. Batao, jaldi. Same, hai na? And I'm pretty sure in 1.5 and 2.5, we are very much confused. Dead hai ki dhai hai? <laughs> Sava or fun? <laughs> yes, correct. Right, same. So, Time is one of the very important entity in our life, right? Sometimes that one minute, so uh, whenever, you know, our school final bell is about to ring and that last minute, you feel like, Kab bachega? when will it ring? I have to go home, I have to go home. You can see all the people standing outside the school gate, right? right? Waiting for you, the rickshaws, the, the cabs. So you feel like, I have to go home. That one minute is very lengthy. And sometimes when you are playing, right, it's of the same in Bengali, right? So it's when you are playing, Are yaar, one hour just went. I did not even realize it, right? There one minute is like, soup, gone. You don't even know, right? So that's why this is today's session. And people, everyone, uh, see, I'll, I'll keep checking out your messages, but that does not mean if I'm not taking your name, I'm ignoring you. Or if you want me to take your name, don't worry, you all are here, I am also here. Let's enjoy it. Naam to kuch what is in the name guys? Come on, right? Chalo. So let's see, let's start this beautiful session and very informative session with a bang. Fine, ready? <laughs> right? Chalo. Let's start learning about time. And before that, people who are new and who don't know about this, let me tell you, the Baiju's mini learning program is now free. So this is I'm telling you because a lot of you already know and a lot of you have already tried this. But people who are new, a lot of us have already tried and uh, those of uh, you who haven't, it's more like you might get left out. So that's why there is a link given to you in the description, the shop.baijus.com. You go ahead, click on that link and you will get a session that the package of three sessions that is for 399 for free if you use that code so this is for all the youtube members the people who are coming to classes regularly right they know about this if you don't know means hai na? Uh, hai na? nice anita so anita has already, already tried this so go ahead try it what you will get sir sir bye you are also teaching there also i'll get some teaching what is the difference the difference is See, YouTube, may, whatever we are doing today, I'll cover everything, right? We'll do practice also, we'll cover the whole chapter also. But there are few strong points of us, what we do, no? That we cannot do on YouTube sessions, like explore games, like one-to-one -one interactivity, like two-teacher advantage. So all these things you get if you try the two-teacher model. And this is for you to try. This is more like that sample. So go ahead, it's free. Try it, see. It's good. It's yours, you can go ahead and, and you know, further buy it. If you don't like ticket, it's okay, you can leave it. Not a problem, right? We are here, we'll keep doing this. Okay, nice. All right, chalo. So, all these things you will get, but please make sure that you go ahead and try it. So, my, my major focus is for you to try it, okay? 
sold out. No, no, it's it's not sold out. It won't happen. All right, chalo. So let's move forward and talk about the one thing. Sometimes we enjoy a lot. Sometimes we are afraid of a lot. Right? Teacher is gonna come. Teacher is. I have not done the homework. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's almost time. It's almost time. How can you know what time of the day it is without a clock? Can someone do it? Right? Today you all know. Right? You have clocks. So Avinash, there is one three nine nine wala also. You go on that. And then apply the code, है ना? हाँ, अनीता is saying using sun, okay? How can you know what time of the day it is without a clock? Okay. Position of sun, nice, nice, Raj. हाँ, that is also one of the thing. Correct, correct. Shadows, okay, nice, nice, very good. Nice, Vishnu. Very good, Tarishka, Kushank, Devashish, Dharmendra. Very good, nice, nice. Ah, Jantar Mantar, nice, Pratiksha. Nice, correct, Avinash. This is how the basics work. Very good. Okay. Can someone tell me what is the time right now? I mean, if you want to look at the sun, and I am in the studio, I have to go out, find an open thing, and then acha, sun is there. Then it might be around afternoon, right? Around five, around four. अच्छा रात में क्या करेंगे? I know, I can see the time by the way. So yeah, it's okay. You are telling me. Nice. So what is the time right now? This is one question. Now, how did our ancestors used to measure time? See, today we have all these fancy gadgets. We have alarms, right? We have a watch in the morning to tell us, अरे भाई उठ जाओ. Get up, you have to go and ready and go to school, right? So you have this nice instrument which is telling you, get up, go to school. You have to start preparing, right? So understand this, right? So this is one instrument which is actually, actually helping us throughout the day. But back to our ancestors, there is no alarm. There was like cuckoo, cuckoo, right? I mean, we used to say that they were, they were cuckoos, or you know, they were hens and cocks that they used to give. बांग देना बोलते हैं ना मुर्गे की बांग देना, so these kind of things used to happen, correct? And that's how they used to get to know. But still, time is of of a very important essence in our lives, correct? है ना? So how did our ancestors did this? This is one question which if we decode, at least we'll understand what we started with and today what we are or where we are, okay? Fine, ठीक है? And nowadays तो we don't we don't hear the the मुर्गे की बांग, right? Hey Ishwar, ठीक है, कोई बात नहीं। चलो, so morning, morning, some people like it, some people don't like it, they feel like नहीं थोड़ा देर और सोने देते काश। Sometimes, and nowadays in Bangalore the weather is so nice that you feel like in mornings where is the sun? So these things are happening, and I think in in a lot of places there is a lot of rain happening. So हाँ, nowadays Sometimes we are missing the sun, but I also feel, right? So mornings, okay. Then comes evenings, right? Nicely the moon comes up, right? And then we say the evening is also there, right? Ah, in Assam, Assam, so it's 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 pretty bad actually. I mean, it's it's flooding right now. All right, just please take care. Whoever is there from Assam, okay? All right, now. The position of sun can be predicted, and I don't know how many of you have seen this. Uh, Brahma Mahurat, very good. <laughs> yes, all right. So, position of sun can be predicted, and I don't know how many of you have done this, but you know, roughly, sometimes we do this. Let's say you are on a beach, you don't have a watch or anything. You see that how much time you have for sunset. We do these between uh, you put the sun and the horizon between your fingers. Acha, one finger means around 10 minutes, two matlab to 20 minutes, three matlab 30 minutes. Has anyone done this before? Sometimes on a on a beach or something. I mean, this is something we used to do when we were kids. Someone has anyone tried this? Ke never ah? Acha, Devashis has. So it gives you a rough kind of thing. <laughs> so 
you take the horizon you take the setting sun and you say oh i can put four fingers means around 40 minutes i have i can put only three fingers okay i have around 30 minutes for sunset so these kind of things happen <laughs> all right so go ahead try it for the end of the next time so right we can still make these estimations you know right we can okay and every day we see the sun rising in the east setting in the west and it follows a nice pattern so i want you to focus on this word pattern okay there is a pattern to it you know sun rises in the morning sets in the evening and it does this every day correct and that's why we say oh if sun is something which is reliable it will do it every day i can take it as a reference right a reference for me for for at least estimating time you know correct chalo theek hai so i am looking for things which are in patterns first thing theek hai chalo what are the other natural events that repeat itself with time so this is going more technical sir when you said you are looking for a pattern what i really meant was events that repeat itself with time hai na oh nice ha huh? in in goa you can you can definitely try <laughs> nice correct other natural event that repeat itself with time think think come on sun to theek hai we have we have one example what other things they repeat itself with time think think <laughs> oh nice aish moon earth okay all right okay so we are all going for mostly astronomical things hai you na know? nice defina very good so this is this is something interesting so i can see moon earth new moon to next new moon isko in hindi we used to call it uh, amavasya se amavasya tak right or you can say purnima se purnima tak correct true right so all these are other natural events that repeat itself with time true hai na ha time time and period i am coming to this uh, divine don't worry it's okay divina not a problem so i uh, in hindi i just tell i think few words in between it's okay so i don't think anybody misses anything so that's the intent english or hindi you will not miss anything don't worry you will not miss any fun you will not miss any content chalo let's see and the answer which i said was was interesting was people also noticed that you know at night moon comes but it's not same every day you know moon is not same every day why because its shape also changes right moon's shape changes an ancient way of measuring time in the day we say that time between one sunrise and the next is what we call as a day right yeah anita so just put this in the comments i know i know you guys are worried about that but you know uh, it's something there are some some problems we are facing in that and right now we are focusing on science at least we are doing it perfectly but yeah that particular thing i would say you can put this in the comment and and let the team know because there's something is going on all right nice very good idea chalo so one interval we say or we define it somehow so we said from one sunrise to the next day sunrise we called it one day okay that is what one day was called as okay next month the time between one new moon to the next is what we called as a month so you can see new moon matlab kya hota hai what is new moon new moon is like a black moon or the shadowy moon right where the shadow is there on the moon so you can you can't see anything so that is what you call as a new moon to a new moon right you can see the very this crescent moon right this this small crescent this is what we call as crescent moon right so this is how cycle goes it is black then slowly slowly with each day you start seeing more and more of moon uh, face right the, the the bright and reflective face and then slowly slowly it goes back to again the dark one okay right ha ah, purnima amavasya correct so the time between one new moon to the next is what we defined as the month right so the reason i'm telling you this is because our ancestors developed pretty ingenious ways of predicting you know what 
this is this particular day of the month this is this particular day of the month right so in month if you do you remember that uh, and people again I would say I would just give you uh, phases of the moon there is a good video also on this uh, of Bajus only so you might have seen your mothers or sometimes our parents or sometimes uh, the the pujaris and people know they they use a panchang we call it sometimes right ah sankranti to sank panchang bolte hain right yes avinash sir's video ah waning and waxing gibbous crescent very good yes so that's why in panchang they the the it is done using tithi they call it the tithi no ekadashi dwadashi triyodashi and then panchmi uh, you know so these things are done like fortnight roughly is defined as half of the month and that is what moons so it's actually lunar calendar correct hai na uh, so those panchangs actually they are lunar calendars so i'm telling you this because it's not like that is something else entirely you also know that okay it's lunar calendar only it's just based on the moon phases nice ha huh? it was a nice video very good so another way could be the time taken time taken by earth to complete one revolution of the sun so whatever examples ha ah, shukla paksha to krishna paksha very good very good nice srishti on youtube i'm not sure it is there in one of the chapters i saw it just oh ayushi take care ha huh? yes ha ah, correct aditya so again what i told you whatever what we are looking for we are looking for those events which repeat themselves you know you can predict on them or you can just be dependent on them ki yaar this will repeat ye itni der baad hota hai it takes this much time to interval of of uh, to repeat itself you know so whenever you have dependency or you have this kind of a belief in in one particular thing because of observation you can see oh it is repeating that is something which can be taken as a reference for time and i am telling you all those examples only which you only told me in the uh, chat time taken by earth to complete one revolution of the sun you are right 365 days we call it one year right or 366 for a leap year right and i won't go into why it is 366 why 365 sometimes why 28 days okay <laughs> i won't go into that right now ha uh, yes so all these are ancient ways of measuring time and this is another the shadow thing which you only told me that looking at the shadow if you can see there is no shadow of you in the bottom like it's very small just below you we say it is over your head and it is at 12 at noon hai na so these kind of things happen right ha uh, correct so that's why shadow shifting this is also one way of telling time and there is a nice device working on this can someone tell me the name of the device on shadow someone someone and i think you have mentioned this before in the session itself the device which we use and using shadows of the sun to tell time what is that device okay ha ah, easy version is sundials yes sundials no we have sundials like this uh this is there 45 degrees pe you put a pencil so we have diy sundial video also it's it's a nice project we can do some day i mean i'm just realizing it right sundials are there which is work which are working on the shadow itself periodic motions you are looking for right a motion that repeats itself after equal intervals of time is what we know is known as a periodic motion so right <laughs> spamming me to ha it 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 might ban right so come on we said we need events which repeat themselves after a particular interval of time right right so we call them now we are defining those events see guys we are learning things we are learning interestingly but we also are learning what do we call that particular thing hai na things or motion which repeat themselves right what we call them we call them oscillatory shayazi it is it is also there but the bigger the bigger umbrella is periodic motion right periodic motion a motion that repeats itself after equal intervals of time is what we call as a periodic motion right periodic word is important you might have you know right in your school also we have periods first period second period third period fourth period right 
every period has equal interval equal interval of time right i don't know in my school it was like 40 minutes was one period when i was in school i don't know what what is your period duration some of you might have i think half an hour some of you might have one hour eight periods right so i think i don't know you might have ha uh, 40 minutes na yes nidhi correct 35 minutes so the reason we give we give period word to something which repeats itself right after a regular interval of time right so that that's why we call it a periodic motion true right true hai na seven periods or eight periods every period has some, some equal amount of time for it right so that's why this is what you call as a periodic motion fine now ancient time measuring devices the first one is something which you only told me you see the shadow the shadow is actually is turning and telling you the time right rectilinear no rectilinear tanishka is a straight line motion i can't call it a periodic motion ha dharmendra i'm coming to this it's a good question i'm coming to this periodic is a bigger picture nice water clock it's like you just read my mind uh, defina very good yes aditya you can and don't worry some day some day will uh, do it together ha ah, jantar mantar so in delhi there is this uh, people who don't know uh, there is this building called as jantar mantar which was the older version of sundials and you know time keeping acha oh tarishka okay correct very good anik right water clocks sand clocks acha sand clocks you might have seen sometimes today uh, we see them as what do we say the the show pieces right sand clocks you turn them and they go like and people who might uh, who might be seeing those kind of uh, tv serials or something no the, those olden times raja maharajas so that time also we used to have sometimes these these clocks <laughs> correct yes see water clocks chest <laughs> right so you have seen it no so it's more like this glass narrow opening and sand pours itself down and we say it is almost like 1 minute clock 2 minute clock so these kind of things are mentioned over there it's a nice uh, sometimes we give it as gift also you know Devina, ah, uh, you can make, but sand and water clocks. There is a problem of you. You need a nice texture, right? So that you need a nice shape and a very very narrow hole. That's why manufacturing becomes more clean rather than DIY. DIY sundial is definitely doable. So that is something very easy. You can try it. Yeah, yeah Devan, I saw your question. So let's see modern time measuring devices. We all know. we have clocks today right we have clocks like 12 1 2 3 so in 12 hours it's there correct hai na we have table clocks we have digital clocks right we have all these clocks this is what this is more like again hand watch or this is also an analog uh, clock right true watch is same thing now let me ask you or let me tell you do you know modern day clocks and our ancestors used the same periodic motion to measure time do you know both of them actually use the same same periodic motion to measure time if you don't know i'll tell you don't worry how or why i'm saying this right how before that i'll give you one small poll question is poll question uh, doable right now can you give a poll question okay so let's let's uh, do it like this you can answer me in the chat a b c d there are four options and you can tell me in the chat which one is the correct answer nahi nahi pooja we won't complete the whole chapter but the time portion at least we'll try to cover uh, in a good way which of the following is an example of periodic motion car moving in a straight line motion of players playing hockey motion of the pendulum in a clock motion of a child on a slide acha you are saying everybody is saying c but i just saw one c and d so in d also you are assuming something the child is going up zoo coming down going back going up hmm, but you cannot control that no but ha motion of the pendulum in a clock 
This is for sure, for sure a periodic motion. Now, Devayan, you were asking me, periodic and oscillatory, right? Okay, I'll come to this. Answer is C, you all are right. Yes, but it's not repeating always, right? So, C is correct. A pendulum is what? What is a pendulum? Yes, what is a pendulum? Don't worry, I have a pendulum for you. Pendulum has a support, it has a thread and it has a bob, okay? So that is a pendulum. And you know what? We have something for you. I have brought you a pendulum, right? So right now I have two over here. One I'll just, one I'll just keep over here. Yes. Right, let's see. Now comes a question. What is a pendulum? Pendulum is, it has a bob. So this, this hanging thing, heavy piece, right? It is a bob. Nice. And we have a thread. So this is one thread and this is the support, correct? So that is what we call as a pendulum. Fine. Stand, string and bob. Simple, okay? Right? Ah, tick, tick. <laughs> And you might have also seen this in, in some clocks, right? Uh, there are some or special wall, uh, wall clocks. There is a clock and there is a whole segment below it. There you have this pendulum doing this. And sometimes after one hour it goes like tung, tung, right? You might have seen that. And clock towers also in world, the clock towers, they also have these heavy swinging pendulums, right? Big ones, correct? Chalo. Now in pendulum, you know what? Pendulum does a to and fro motion. If you notice, if I take it here and leave it, it keeps on doing this motion, right? It keeps on doing this. This is what we call as a to and fro motion, right? Ah, because it is called as to and fro motion, right? Now this position, the position in which I'm holding right now, it is the extreme position. So when I release it, it goes from extreme till the middle, that is the main position, till this end, that is again the extreme position, right? So a, a, a pendulum has two extreme positions and one mean position, right? Ah, why air friction? Because it's, it's very less position, right? It's a very small displacement or distance it is traveling, that's why. And it's a very heavy ball also, correct? Now comes oscillation. So I'm going towards that question, by the way. Periodic versus oscillatory motion. This is very, very huge uh, problem we have uh, for all of us, right? So oscillation, kya hota hai? what is oscillation? It is a to and fro motion. It is a to and fro motion. Now, in this case, I would say it is a to and fro motion of a simple pendulum, right? So this is what we call as oscillatory motion. To and fro movement between two positions or states of fan object is known as oscillation. Now, what becomes oscillatory motion then? What becomes oscillatory motion? To and fro motion is what we call as oscillatory motion, right? Okay. Now, so that's that's why. <laughs> Correct. Yes. Pendulum takes a lot of battery in a clock. Yeah, that's true. But it was not like this always. In those clocks, the pendulum is used using the battery power. But previously, it was because of pendulum the bat the clock used to work, right? To and fro motion and periodic motion. Not, now let, let me tell you. To and fro motion will be going from one position to some other position then coming back to the same position. This is what we call as a to and fro motion. Periodic kya hota hai? Taking the same time. Now earth is going around the sun in 365 days. Let's say 365, right? I am not considering 365 right now. 365 days, again 365 days, again 365 days. Is this an oscillatory motion? My question to all of you, come on. Is this earth going around the sun an oscillatory motion? Someone, someone, tell me, come on. No, Anik says no. Darmin says yes. Tell me. Bhavik says no. Yes. No. Yeah. Oh, nice. It's, I mean, it means it, it's a good question. So this is not an oscillatory motion, but it is a periodic motion. Why? Because it is taking equal time every time, right? 
doing this one revolution it is taking equal time that is the time period also so it is a periodic motion repeating itself after a regular interval of time but this let's say uh, a kid going from home to school this is to and fro motion right this is an oscillatory motion correct this is an oscillatory motion now if i tell you this pendulum going from here to here it is taking some time right it is taking some time so to and fro motion is the oscillatory motion and the time taken to for, to complete one oscillation is what we call as time period of this oscillatory motion so periodic motion is something else in that there is one segment we call as oscillatory motion right right huh, that's why any guys said just forget about leap year for a second so circular motion can be a periodic motion it is not an oscillatory motion right but oscillatory motion are supposed to be to and fro correct got it right important this is important thing so that's why i'm telling you from a great height ha huh, great height mein you know what happens this is a string string slacks you don't want that that's why we give a slightly slight push like this okay so let's see let's let's understand something i'll use my phone as a stopwatch and i want to try something let me see i have a yes okay i can put laps also so let's see can someone tell me yes stefina pendulum has both periodic and oscillatory motion but earth moving around the sun or a fan rotating at constant speed it is a periodic motion not an oscillatory motion got it acha you are saying if i give it a force we don't give it but this is what you are saying so you are defeating the purpose the way we are using pendulum no for for thing then it's not exactly being used for that okay so let me tell you first of all let's see what all this time period uh, depends upon now i want to ask something with all to all of you let's say i this is my or uh, i'll just keep something for a reference let's say i keep this thing this is my reference over here right i'll take the pendulum till here and then release it fine because this is my reference what we call as one oscillation so my hand from the this bottle to my hand or coming back to the bottle which one is one one oscillation come on tell me yes aditya what one which is one oscillation one oscillation is ha huh, coming back to the bottle nice ari right it goes from this point like this comes back so this is one oscillation fine this is half oscillation another half so this is one oscillation two oscillation three oscillation four oscillation five oscillation right so time taken to complete one oscillation is what we call as time period right so oscillatory motion is the to and fro motion right a body goes from one point to another point and then comes back to the same point that is what we call as an oscillatory motion or to and fro motion theek okay? hai but ha ah, nice bottle to hand to bottle here one oscillation means from bottle to hand to bottle again so this is one and the time taken to complete this one oscillation is the time period of that oscillatory motion fine got this hai na fine ha jahan se jao wahi pe aao correct very good understood nice chalo theek hai so let's measure the time period first and let me tell you we'll measure time period of five oscillations and we'll divide it by five or let's say 10 oscillations hai na and i'll keep counting and you also count in your mind theek hai let's do it from here i'll take and i'll release 3 2 1 go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 right in 10 this is 13.36 i don't know you can see it you have to believe me over here this is 13.36 over here right 13 seconds and 36 seconds means one oscillation is taking how much 13 upon 10 1. Point, 
right? Correct? 1.3 seconds. I'll just take 1.3. Yes, 10 last question done. Very good, very good. Chalo, hai. That's okay. What if I keep it far? Can someone tell me what if I keep it a little far here? Will the time period change? Yes or no? Will the time period change if I take it far? Previously, I took it from here. If I do it from here, tell me. Will the time period change? What do you think? No, yes, no, yes. Okay. Let me let me just open my phone again. It got locked. Let's see. It was 1.3 first. Let's start. 3, 2, 1 and go. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You won't believe me if I tell you the truth. It is 13 seconds and 31 seconds. Again, it is 1.3 only. Right? It is 1.3 only. So what do you see? It does not depend on how much displacement you give. Right? Time period does not depend on that. Fine. Hana, same. It's exactly the same. I did not expect so much accuracy because human error is also one thing. Releasing and, and turning the clock on. But it came out to be same. Which means it does not depend on how much displacement you do. Hana? How is it possible? In 11th, I'll teach you. I mean, I'll teach you what gravity components are working on it. How it is depending on length and all these things. I'll, I'll tell you. But ha. today, I'll give you a good idea. Chalo, theek hai. So this was one thing. Right? Okay. Now, you know what? Can you see this one? I have this one more bob over here. The smaller one. It's a lighter one. Hai na? This is a lighter one. This was a heavier one. This is the lighter one. Can you believe me in this? Nice. Correct. Gravity. Yes. True. At least you can believe me over here. No, this is a smaller one. This is a bigger one. You can see it, right? So let me just keep it here. The heavier one. Right? So heavier one, I'll keep it. It's so heavy. It's just not staying there. All right. I, I, I have kept it. Fine. Now, can you tell me? Last time it was around 1.3 second. This time, this is a lighter one. Will the time period change? Come on. Guess, guess, come on, tell me. Will the time period change if I use this one now? So one thing is something we have already proved. It does not depend on how much displacement you are, you are giving it to it. Right? But my question is, if I use a lighter ball, a lighter bob, will the time period change? Okay, Dharmendra, good, good. Let's see. So, let me take it this side and release it again. Fine. And this time, again, let's count for 10 oscillations itself. 3, 2, 1, and go. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Can someone guess what is the time this time? How much we have recorded? So you can, I think you are, you are, uh, you can see me smile. It is, you, you might not be able to see it. It is 13 seconds. 13.32. Last time it was 13.31. So 0 0.01 is I would say human error over here. Right? 13.32 means if I divide by 10, I'm getting 1.3 again. It does not depend on the weight of the bob. Second conclusion. Fine. Again it is same. Got it. Right? Got it. So it is not changing with the weight also. How heavy the bob is. Can someone tell me or can someone guess what will it depend upon? Take a small guess. What will it depend upon? 
anyone by distance or how how far you take it before leaving doesn't matter how heavy the bob is doesn't matter gravity is true but let's say you are on earth you do you don't change your position of earth right let's see nice i can see length of string or length of rope yes very good very good so i'll tell you how let me just hold it like this you know i'm i'm fixing it like this let's see it looks faster you know it looks faster let me do it again let me just make it even shorter now this much notice 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 Can you see the my my counting pattern? It is fast now. For this one, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It was slower, but still. Let's look at this one now. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do you see? The shorter you make the string, time period is smaller. The longer you make the string, time period is longer. Right? Got it? So. what it depends upon length of the string and gravity you are right over there but if i don't change my planet if i don't if i just stay at where i am i don't change the gravity because changing gravity is a difficult task you have to change the planet correct at least i would say properly changing on a planet also i understand some place it's like thoda bahut upar thoda bahut niche small small up small small down but at least ha ah, <laughs> at least the major factor is the length of the string and that is what it depends upon right so what have we understood what is periodic motion what is oscillatory motion oscillatory motion is a type of periodic motion but i can't say periodic motion is a type of oscillatory motion right what about force vanshika i can explain that but i don't want to go into that because you know what i'll have to explain you what component of gravity is working i'll have to make components of gravity and don't worry class 11th is waiting for you very nicely you will get this and you know we 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 might talk about this together ha yes correct true so abhishek i told you it depends on only and only the length of the rope if you don't change your place but i would say it will depend upon length of rope and gravity of the place theek hai these are two factors on which the time period of a pendulum depends what it does not depend how much distance you are taking before releasing like displacement of the of the bob second it does not depend upon how heavy or the bob is right light weight bob heavy weight bob doesn't matter time period will remain same okay got it nice chalo bahut acche so an oscillatory motion is a type of periodic motion periodic motion is not a type of oscillatory motion theek hai oscillatory motion is to and fro motion periodic motion is equal time interval may it should repeat itself but oscillatory motion the to and fro motion was a type of periodic motion which was repeating itself after a regular interval of time got it right <laughs> all right nice so historically now let's talk about the most obvious way to measure time was a day right it was one day we said let's let's divide that day so i'm turning uh let's say you are 15 years old and someone asked you you know and someone asked you that what is your age do you think telling this will be easier or telling this will be easier think come on i'm turning 15 years old my 15th birthday today i am 15 years old or you will be saying today i am i can't even just calculate over here 3 3 more 3 more Oh, four seventy three billion, around four seventy three billion seconds old. Option B, right? Nobody prefers the option A because it's 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 unfeasible. It's not feasible, right? Same thing. Distance between Delhi and Bangalore. I won't be saying like it is in these many centimeters because it'll be too much. I can say kilometers. Fine, fine. That's why. So. 
it is important to use proper units right same thing so a day was divided into 24 equal parts right a day is divided into 24 equal parts we said one day equals 24 hours right and don't worry there are a lot of things in history also why 12 only uh, how many how many has anyone tried this has anyone tried this before uh, <laughs> that if you leave your thumb how many segments you have in your four fingers someone how many segments do you have in your four fingers can you count it sometimes you do you know one two three four five six seven eight nine twelve right <laughs> yes math siblings hai bhai. Sahi baat hai. it is twelve this is one of the ways of you know uh, dividing it so one day is 24 hours, 12, 12 days of day, tw sorry, 12 hours of day, 12 hours of night. Then each hour has 60 minutes. Each minute has 60 seconds. So basic unit of time is seconds. Okay. Basic unit of time is seconds. Are you kyun hai aapke? All right. Yes. Correct. All right. Now, concept of divisions. Babylonians brought the concept of 24 hours in a day. Does anyone know Babylon? Who are who are called as Babylonians? Anyone? I mean, just take a guess. You might know, because I have I might have used this word before in the history of measurement. Any any guess? No idea. Uh, not French Revolution. So Egypt, uh, Egypt, Egypt. Me, they were called as uh, they were called Babylonia. So there we have uh, the Babylonians. So Egyptians, early Egyptians were called as Babylonians. They brought the concept of 24 hours in a day. And if you notice, I'm just giving you some things, right? So 24 hours, 24 letter or 24 number is actually divisible by 2 also, 3 also, 4 also, 6 also, 8 also, right? Now you would say sir 12 also, but if you have covered something till 8, it means to... to Multiple to chali jayega, hai na? There is, there is, and you have millisecond, microseconds, but SI unit of time will be seconds, the basic unit, right? Okay. Now there's something which I, I want you to think just, just whenever you feel, if you are very interested or, to, or I'll tell you afterwards, why do we have 60 minutes in an hour? Why only 60? Why not 90? Why not 50? Why not 40? Why only 60? Right? Yes. Okay. So this is one question you can you can just try, you can think uh, on yourself. Oh, pendulum is coming in between, na? All right, all right. Yes. I think it's it's better now. Yes. Longitude, huh? It's okay. You guys think and let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, in the next session, we'll, we'll discuss about this. Right? So, people, go ahead and please be a part of the Telegram group. Because I'm giving the notes of this session on the Telegram channel. Right? Everybody will get this. There is a link in the description for Telegram channel. You go ahead and also subscribe or join that channel. Right? Uh, Arnav, this is kind of question I'm leaving for you. Why not 13 or 14? Yes, you're right actually. It's a good question. So, that's why. Be a part of Telegram channel. A homework question for you is, so the question which I told you, it's more like wondering question. You can think, but think. You know? This is something which you can give answer to. It's a proper homework question. The What do I say? The, the question we usually give. Time period of given pendulum is 2 seconds. How many oscillations will it make in 1 minute? So, just take a screenshot. Take a screenshot. Nice, very good. Yes, take a screenshot and the comment section is waiting for your answers, okay? And us also. When we say comment section is waiting, means we are waiting for your answers, alright? So go ahead, try it out and you know what? We have got you covered. This is something we tell everyone. And I'm repeating itself. That shop.byjuice.com, please, please go ahead and you just click on that and take the trial of that, the, the MLP, the mini, mini learning program of three sessions. It's free. I, I suggest all my students to don't let the free things go from you, right? Okay. In the comment section, I'm not leaving at, I'm not looking at the answers. 
And apart from these answers, go ahead and think of that 60, uh, 60 wala number also. Why only 60 seconds in a minute? Or why only 60 minutes in one hour? Take Nice. So, people, if you think this was a good session, if you think this session was helpful, like it. Very important. You share it with people who you think it will be helpful for. Your classmates, your batchmates, your siblings, your cousins, right? Go ahead, share it. Don't be greedy. Don't think it, it should be only me who should take advantage of this, right? Go ahead, share it and you subscribe to it because whatever we do, you will get to know. And we do it for a purpose, right? We don't, we don't want to waste your time. We don't want to do any masala or something. We want to learn. We want to learn with as much fun as we can, but we want you to be there, okay? Right? Yes. Go ahead, subscribe to the channel, like the video and share it. And that's it. With this, we'll meet again in the next one. Next session with even more interesting stuff, good experiments and more learning, right? Yes. And now, if you, uh, the two teacher thing, no? if you go there, I, I'm, I'm there also. Yes, you will, you will find me there. All right. Same to you guys. Have a nice day. Take care. And let's meet, meet each other again in the next session. Till then, bye-bye.